So here we go, Scarf Golf. So let's have a quick tour around. There's Scotty there on the wall, unleash your potential. Got some memorabilia here. Masters flag there from 2015. Open Championship, which is the one I played in. Uh, Royal Birkdale. Some pictures of me and Scott, so Scott caddy for me. Uh, what do you reckon to the hair there? Post some comments below. Uh, looking back at it, looks like a bit of a shocker to me. Obviously we've got Trapman in the studio, uh, which is great for obviously, you know, plenty of data and uh, analysing ball flight and, you know, great teaching tool. Uh, obviously, you know, we've got video in here, high speed cameras and all that. So here's me hitting a few shots. Um, see how we're looking. Looking pretty good. Got some nice uh, PGA Tour averages there, some Trapman data. Uh, Justin Rose, obviously avid Trapman user, you know, train like the pros, focus your game with Trapman. Got a nice big mirror there for, for doing any sort of technical work, getting a feel and real uh, to the student. Um, obviously hitting from off the bat into the screen there. Everything comes up, obviously integrate with the uh, the trap line, and we can get the, the ball flight of each shot there as well up on the um, up on the screen. So, you know, if uh, if you're ever in the area or you know you want to come down and you want some help with your game, um, contact myself or Scott, um, and we'll be happy to uh, to help you and uh, hopefully put you on the right track. So, I'll put some uh, contact details below, and um, yeah. Hit us up if you want some help. So, right, let's get stuck in on uh, how we can improve your golf grip. Um, quite a few of the clients that come to see me for some lessons this week really been sort of working on, you know, changing the way they hold the golf club. Um, sort of how they apply the hold on the, uh, the handle of the grip. So it really sort of affects what the club face is doing and also kind of limits what they can do with the hands during the swing, how the club kind of sets and all that. So just want to give you a really quick video of some simple little tips um, of how you should be sort of holding it. Um, you know, really important, obviously, if, you, if you're new to the game or you're only just starting the game, you know, if you can get the grip in a decent manner to begin with, that's really going to set you off on a, on a good foot. Um, and obviously, if, you, if you've been playing the game for years and you've got a grip and it works for you, I wouldn't tinker too much unless we're trying to do something which is going to help control the club head um, you know, and put it in a better position. So, a couple of really key things. So first thing we need to do, we talk about the left hand. So common fault with most guys is what they do is they actually grip it in the palm of the hand. So you can see that from there, it runs very much through the palm. And what actually happens when you grip it that way, it'll very much probably be in a weak position. Um, so what happens then as well, obviously the club face is then going to be probably open during the swing. And also, if I hold this club up in front of me here and, I, and I'm really trying to sort of hinge my wrist or cock my wrist, and the range of motion is, you know, I've not really got a lot there, you know, which is obviously going to inhibit putting speed into the club head. So, a couple of little key things. I want to grip it in the base of the fingers, so see how the club kind of sits in the base of the fingers there. And then the heel pad, which is the back of the hand, is actually sitting on top of the grip. So, it's like on my grips here, on, on the top of the golf pad, there's a little notch there. So, it's in the fingers, base of the fingers, and then the heel pad is on top. And then what we find is the thumb kind of sits just on this side of the grip. Kind of hand and thumb are still kind of touching, so we've got a nice little bit of connection there. And as I'm looking down at my left hand, I can see two knuckles on this hand, you know, without turning the head, because I say to some guys, oh, you know, how many knuckles can you see? And they all go, oh, I can see four. It's like, well, by doing, keeping your head where it is, really important. So that's kind of the left hand hold. So, you know, I'm in a really good position there where I can use the wrist correctly, you know, I can set it, you know, on the correct way in the club face as well, because I've got a nice neutral grip, it's going to be in a decent position, rather than weak, open, lim limited wrist, uh, wrist set there. So, that's the first thing. So then the next thing we need to do is bring the right hand off. Again, kind of sits sort of in the base of those fingers again, you know, and there's different ways we can hold it, we can interlock it, um, which is joining the, the index and the little finger there, or we can do an overlap, which is it kind of the little finger kind of sits in the in the crease between your index and your, your second finger there on the uh, on the left hand. Um, 
very much preference. I'm an interlocker, kind of what I did growing up. That's kind of how I held a golf club. So I interlock it. The danger as well I find with, with a lot of guys is they go like web to web, so like right in, you know, and then they go to put the right hand on and they can't get it on top of the grip. So, you know, you look at my right hand there, it's in a very much what we call a strong position, which, you know, if it turns to a kind of natural position at impacts, that club face is going to be very much closed. So if we can get it so it kind of sits, you know, connected, or it sits on top, but not too far through, then you'll be able to find that you can get that right hand nicely in a decent position on the top. You know, and like we said, with the left hand again, we've got kind of a V created on this left hand there, and it's pointing up towards this right shoulder uh, for a right-handed golfer. And then the right hand, when that comes on the grip, again, it kind of mirrors it. So, you know, I've got that, that V again pointing in the same direction, which is going to really encourage the club face to, you know, perform in the, or, or return to impact, unless we really manipulate it or something. Gives us a better starting point and a good chance to deliver a square square face at impact. Um, and like I said before, now we're holding it more in the fingers. We can get a little bit better, kind of set with the wrist. Um, you know, the club will work back on a better plane as well. Imagine if I held it really under, you know, and I, and I kind of hinged my wrist correctly. The club won't set on the correct plane, would it? You know, so you know now that now that they're there, the club's going to set on a on a nice decent sort of angle there. The shaft will be. You know, much more usable uh, during the swing. Uh, so I hope, hope this helps. Um, any comments, post them below. Um, you know, any videos you'd like to see, any tips you'd like to see, um, obviously pop them in the comments as well. You know, thanks for watching. Um, and you know, again, I do personal one-on-one -on -one lessons. So you can, uh, what I'll do is I'll put in the description my contact details. So I'll, I'll drop my number in there and my email address. Um, and also, you know, if you're not from the area where I live, which is in uh, in Cheshire, um, you can also you know drop me an email, send me some swings. I'm happy to give you um, give you you know an online lesson. So drop me an email and, and I'll provide more details on how to do that. Uh, thanks for watching and hopefully be posting uh, some more tips for you soon. Cheers again.